When you show courage in the face of adversity, you change your life and others. The most provocative people in the world are the ones who won't settle for average and have triumphed through adversity. We are most inspired by people who have experienced difficulty and never, ever give up. Luck is great, but most of life is hard work. Sometimes the only way out of stress is through it. Face struggle to overcome challenges in life. Many times struggles happen to help teach us a lesson. We can either learn from the lesson or deny it. From an evolutionary perspective, the human mind's main goal is to keep you safe. Sometimes this leads to self-sabotage. And it's just easier to stay in your comfort zone and avoid risk. However, great things never come from mediocrity. Quit settling for average and strive for extraordinary. Every man is successful in their life, more or less. We all try with our heart and soul to do any work. But in that work, everyone is trying to win. So everyone, of course, will not be a winner. Some has to fail. Unfortunately, one person wins and the other one fails. The person who fails is not actually a failure. He is also the winner. This time he failed, but the next time he will succeed. If he tries one day, he will surely win. But before winning, he has failed several times. So. Can we say that he is actually a failure? No, of course not. This failing was some step to the success. His failing is just a part of his success. So failing is a part and partial of our lives. If a person fails, that doesn't mean that he is a failure or a loser. Rather, this means that he is the winner of the future. The one who fails several times doesn't actually fail. He just finds several ways that doesn't work. Then why will he be known as a failure? So if we fail, this doesn't mean that I will not be able to succeed. This means that I will succeed next time. We have to remember one thing, that to succeed without trying is not good, but to try and fail is better. The opportunity, the situation, the time to succeed will not create automatically for us. We have to create these for us. If we fail in any work, we have to do it in any other way through which we can do the work properly. But we cannot give up. We have to think differently. We have to look from another angle. We have to prevent it so that we don't do the work in the same way in the future and fail the same way. I have realized the reason for my failure and then I have to find another way to succeed. Giving up will not make a failure successful. It will not solve all the problems. If a man really wants to succeed, then he has to try several times. Why do we give up? If we give up, then our life will be a waste. We have to believe that we can do everything we want. We are the best. Today, I am a failure. But one day, I surely will be a successful man. Today, I am running after the success. But one day, success will run after me. Giving up is just a waste. We have to keep this in mind. There can be found no person who gave up and become successful in his life. But there can be found a lot of people who tried, tried, and tried, but didn't give up, became successful one day. Giving up doesn't make any sense. Rather, it's just a waste of our life. Then why? Why do we give up? Let's ask this question to ourselves. When we give up, is it good to give up? Is it important to give up? 
We all have to fail yesterday, today, or tomorrow. But this doesn't mean that we will not be able to succeed. If we try, success will come to us and beg to us. Success will knock at our door and will cry to accept the success. The only thing we have to do is don't ever give up. As long as we are alive, we cannot give up. We were not born to give up. We have to be successful and we will be successful because we were born to succeed.